Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel, Mystic Terror here, aka Mel. I hope you're all well and having a great day. So this is going to be your June 2023 tarot reading, what you can expect in love, career, and all that good stuff. Listen to Sun, Moon, and Rising, because this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to help boost my channel, and you can also book a personal reading from me down below. So first, I'm going to be pulling an overall energy card for you, which you can expect in the month of June overall. Okay, Spirit for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising, what is coming up? We have Breathe number 29 so 29 could be a significant number to you maybe the 29th of june will be a significant day so pisces i feel like a lot of you this is telling you or this month is going to be a lot so a lot about you just taking a step back and breathing taking a step back and relax taking a step back and think and um think about your actions think about things you want to achieve think about certain um ideas in your mind just taking also a break for some of you maybe you're feeling overwhelmed you're feeling overworked you're having a mental breakdown or whatever it may be breathe take a step back and don't hope don't feel bad for taking a break don't feel bad for taking for relaxing maybe focus more on meditation try meditation techniques breathing techniques um, that can really help when you're feeling anxious when you're feeling stressed when you're feeling worried um, that can really help so some of you might get into meditation or breathing breathing work breathing um, techniques that can definitely really help okay so this is telling you to really kind of take a take a moment take a moment for yourself relax don't if you're feeling stressed go outside in nature do something that makes you feel calm relaxed and at ease that makes you also ease your mind as well okay pisces let's see what else you guys can expect in the month of june okay so um some of you maybe there's something a passionate or creative idea or endeavor you have that you want to pursue i feel like this would be a month to do so if you want to start a new hobby i feel like this is a in the creative field okay so something creative you have a creative mind um, with the page of wands here, eight of wands, I feel like there is something you may want to do or pursue. You should definitely go for it. For some of you, I also see you receiving communication this month from someone. This person could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or have it somewhere in their chart. This person may want to reach out to you, may want to say something to you, apologize, or they just have something to say. This person is rather immature and impulsive, though. They also have a bit of a sly and sneaky energy to them, so be aware of this, okay? Um, but they may try to communicate something to you, but also make sure that they're not going to cause any conflict. You might have conflict with this person or you've had conflict with them in the past, um, so they they kind of just come into your life to cause you conflict, unnecessary conflict. So whoever this may be, be aware of it. I also feel like there are some forces working against you or people working against you. Maybe that see you as competition or, or are jealous of you. Maybe at your workplace you have competition. Maybe in your friend group you feel like there's people that are trying to compete against you. And I feel like these people keep it hidden. They don't really necessarily tell you this. They don't obviously show you this. But I feel like deep down they compete with you. They see you as competition, which is stupid. But, you know, you can't control other people and how they feel or how they think. But... I feel like there's some people here that are working against you, certain forces and energies, and I feel like you sense this, so it's important that you listen to your intuition here. If you feel like someone isn't good for you, someone is not happy for you, someone doesn't have your best interests, that you listen to that gut feeling and intuition you have, because when you have a bad feeling about someone, um, it's usually right. <laughs> so, and I do feel like for some of you, this could be a friend. This could be in your friend group, in your close circle, or co-workers or whatever but someone that's close to you in your circle that is causing you some sort of conflict or they always cause conflict and they they compete unnecessarily against you or they see you as competition or they're not necessarily happy for you so definitely when you achieve something or when you're happy about something see how people react around you you know are they happy for you are they celebrating with you or are they not you know what i mean pisces because you're very intuitive and spiritual so listen to your intuition it's really important 
yeah, I do feel like there could be a toxic person in, in your life and it's not someone that you've let go of. I feel like they're in your energy and it's not to scare you or anything. It's just like, you know, we all have people in our lives that are, I mean, we all have, like we've all experienced that type of energy where someone's not necessarily happy for us or doesn't have our best interest. And sometimes you think they're a really good friend, but they're actually not a good friend. So yeah, just be aware, listen to your intuition. Don't doubt it, because I feel like there could be someone here that is trying to cause you issues for no reason. And it's it's a toxic energy that needs to be let go of, that you're kind of stuck in here. I'm gonna pull some love cards for you, because this was not, not much love has been coming out. So let's see if there's anything in love for you in the month of June. So some of you are already dealing with someone or getting to know someone. You're, you're letting you're letting go of an ex, you're letting go of a toxic person from the past, or you just recently did or whatever. Um, or that could be this immature person that is trying to communicate with you. This could be a past person, an ex, or someone trying to reach out to you, okay? But I don't feel like you guys necessarily want this person anymore. I feel like you could have recently met someone new or you will very soon that this really could be the one there's a potential for a long-term commitment with this person it could reach higher levels of commitment like um engagement marriage etc for those that are already in a relationship you could be getting engaged this month <laughs> or married or planning it okay because we do have the engagement card that came out so this could be um, a sign for those that are committed and in a relationship that you could get engaged and this is also a confirmation that this could be the one and this is your person that you're you're meant to be with you've already met the romantic partner that you have you seek so this really could be that person you're gonna you're gonna be with for a long long time so yeah and for others you're still in the process of letting someone go you're releasing all that toxic energy this ex or this past person brought into your life and now you can let something new in and someone new is going to be coming in as well okay let's get some more oracle cards for pisces in the month of june spirit we have tent which is temporary situation so again whatever these these people that have caused you conflict or are causing you conflict. It's temporary, these issues you've been facing. We have handshake, a meeting with a stranger could be important. So you could be meeting someone this month or in the month of June. Um, and this is gonna be a very important meeting. This person could influence you positively in some sort of way, um, if in your finances, in your career, and any other development in your life, or you know, this person could definitely um, it's coming in for a reason. Girl, oh, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I even get shook. I was talking about a two, or I was talking about a friend, right, in your life that might not have your best intention, and I pulled the cat, a two faced friend. That's crazy, guys. So I don't know. It could be a friend in your circle that is not very happy for you, okay? So again, I'm not trying to scare you guys, but it's just. It's coming through, so I'm going to have to tell you, right? <clears throat> but obviously, you'd be better off without this person. So, And I feel like you might come to this realization this month. Marriage, I told you. Some of, it, some of you could get married. Some of you could get engaged this month. For those of my Pisces that are in happy, committed relationships, that potential is definitely there. You could be planning, talking about it. <sighs> Bat, take care. Enemies are working against you. What are they? Literally, Pisces, there's someone here that... Is not happy for you. They're not happy for your success. Who is this person? I don't know, but there's someone in your life. So try not to, it also says control your anger or you will be sorry. So try not to involve, your, involve yourself in drama. Like, um, because drama, living drama free is better. So if this person wants to create unnecessary, unnecessary drama in your life, we don't need that. We don't have time for that. So be the better person. Let it go. Say what you have to say, but I feel like this person's going to cause a lot of like trick. It's going to trigger you, like obviously. Um, but yeah, also I pulled a torch, spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. So yeah, I feel like you're developing a lot spiritually, emotionally, mentally. You're having that epiphany moment. You're having that enlightenment. You're realizing what no longer serves me who is good for me, who isn't good for me, and you're understanding, you're coming to that realization, that conclusion, and you're letting go. You're letting go of the things and the people and the situations that are not bringing in your ultimate happiness and your ultimate fulfillment because we don't have time for that. Do we have time? We don't have time. So 
I feel like, you know, there's like this aha moment you're having, this enlightenment moment you're having where like, this person's not good for me or they, they don't have my best intention or whatever. And that also happens when, again, you take a step back. And also this is saying, again, if you are going to have conflict with someone in the month of June, if you realize someone is not good for you or they don't have your best intention, they're causing drama in your life, take a step back, breathe, evaluate the situation. And again, don't get involved in drama when, when we don't need it, you know? So yeah, that's what I have for you, Pisces. I really hope this helped you and it resonated. If you made it this far, comment down below your zodiac sign emoji. I would love to know. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. All that good stuff. Personal readings are down below. I love you and I'll see you soon.